In this tutorial, we will learn about shape tweens to uh, create, in, the, in our case, some, uh, some eye movement. But shape tweens are very powerful, can be used to create a lot of different kinds of movement. So in our male character, at the end of this animation, uh, where it says, I am who I say I am, right here. I am who I say I am. I want his uh, eyes to be kind of like shiftily looking around. Well, first of all, he doesn't have eyes yet, so that's an issue. Let's double click on this guy, and you'll see that uh, we are now in scene one in the boy symbol, and we have only one frame at this point. That's not gonna work. Let's go out to uh, frame 300. Let's right click and insert a frame. Okay, so now we have frames all the way out to 300. Let's flip back to the scene, and um, you know it's actually not even really important at this point uh, when this starts. But let's just see. Hey, I am. Uh, so about uh, two ten or so is when I want the shifty eyes to kick in. But we can actually start this all the way back on frame one. Um, we have not used layers yet, and so that's one concept that we're going to add in here. So we're going to create a new layer, and uh, we're going to call this layer eyes. Okay. Um, but before we get to that, we're going to, on the, the main layer we already have, use a tool that we have not yet used. And uh, that tool is the eraser tool. Yes. So the eraser tool is E on your keyboard. We're going to basically kind of punch out some eyes out of this guy's face. Okay. So check this out. There's basically an eye. <laughs> and uh, this one's not turning out as good. But it'll do. And, uh, you know, you can take your sub-selection tool and these points that have been created, you can actually kind of uh, tweak those points still to create something that's more oval shaped, if uh, that was your issue. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so those are like, uh, I don't want to call them his eye sockets, but those are his eye sockets. Okay, now we're gonna lock that layer down and uh, we're also going to do something we haven't done before. Another thing, we're going to hit that wireframe display. So now the uh, the shapes here are wireframed so that we can see where they are. But we're going to switch over to the eyes layer and create eyeballs. Uh, we're going to use our oval tool. Uh, we're going to get no stroke. We're going to get a color of, um, actually for right now, sort of an off-white color is what we're going to use. And create a big circle there. And a big circle there. Not quite where I wanted it to be. There we go. And then we're going to put a black dot, again using the oval tool, in the middle of each of those circles. Maybe more of like an oval than a dot. Okay. And now he looks kind of googly-eyed right now, but that's okay. Um, because what we're going to do now is actually take the eyes layer below the uh, the guy's head and then we'll adjust these eyeballs appropriately okay and you see that allows us to see where this like mask of face is and then where the eyeballs are and if we want to uh, change that color now at this point to be less of a off-white and 
more of a white. We can we can change that color to whatever we want. I'm going to go with more of a bluish white. Uh, and then I'm going to turn the outline thing on layer one off. And OK. Uh, he st still looks a little off kilter. I, I feel like maybe we need to copy this eyeball over here. Ah, yes. That's a much more pleasant human looking eyeball. Great. And now what we're going to do is duplicate these eye keyframes. I'm going to actually duplicate one, two, three. And in the middle one, I'm going to take that and I'm going to move these shapes over to the to the right or to the left. It doesn't really matter right now. And so you'll see now that his eyes are kind of shifting over to the right and then back. And this is just like what we did in the previous video with the shoulder shrug, um, where it's single cell animation. But we also want to do a, a tween. So e even if we had these spaced out further apart, if we right click between those keyframes and click create shape tween, let's see what happens. Let's see if it works out. Yeah, so it so it fills in those gaps of where it's going. Now you'll see that it's something kind of off about the height of the uh, the ovals there. It's a little bit odd, but in general, it's, it's working out pretty nicely. Uh, and let's just play that. Okay, um, we can do the same thing again. Duplicate three. Take that middle one. And this time, let's take these things. I'll we'll take them like down. Okay, let's give that a shot. Right click between them, create shape tween. Create shape tween. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> it's a little darty, but uh, it's not not too bad. Okay, those are like going down. And now, when I have several things like this, I like to label them sometimes. So I'd be like down, and then it labels it in the timeline. Here I'd be to the right. Okay. Okay, so anyway, we said uh, at frame uh, 210 is where we want the shifty eyes. Okay, so I'm going to just take all these keyframes and move them on over to frame 210. And then, I'm not only going to do that, I'm going to uh, grab them all again, hold down Option, and duplicate them. I'm going to switch over to the scene. Let's see how this looks at the end. I am who I say I am. Okay, so kind of goofy, but uh, there's some eye movement for you, courtesy of shape tweening.